Hey folks, at the start of this video, I wanna make a warm welcome to you new subscribers. Welcome, welcome to the Eczema Healing community. Welcome to eczemahealing.org. I'm so glad you're here, but I'm also not. So sorry to hear that you're in this wagon of eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, and that you've been looking around online to try and find something to help you. The topic of my video today, willpower, is really pertinent to you new subscribers because the chances are you've just started on your healing journey, you've just started trying to make changes to your, your gut, your body, your food, lifestyle, etc. And perhaps you're relying a little too much on willpower, which we can do at the start of a healing journey. We are fired up, we've learned some new things, we've made some good changes, but there needs to be more in our reserves than willpower. When I first started coaching, there were people coming to me with amazing stories of how they were sleeping better, they were digesting food better, they'd cut out meat and dairy and eggs and taking all my advice and feeling fantastic. And I thought I was doing an amazing job because of the success stories that they were coming to me with. And these were always people that were new to this whole lifestyle. Maybe they'd been on the lifestyle two or three weeks and they were in that honeymoon period at the start. What I wasn't picking up on so well back then in the early days was the fasting-like effect on the body when we, we go through a process of elimination and we're all fired up, we, we get rid of all of these things that we've read on the internet are bad and a fasting-like response takes place in the body. And I was taken in by this initial enthusiasm to begin with. And since, as if you know me well, you know I put way more of an emphasis now on being sustainable and maybe not so pure, but bringing in a huge amount of consistency, sustainability, because this is really what creates permanent, long-lasting change and not just an initial fasting-like response in the body which can give us some temporary relief. This initial fasting-like response in the body is real. It does create an effect in the body, but not a long-term lasting effect. It's not part of a sustainable effect in the body. And if everything that you're doing right now is you're grudgingly sticking with it, if it's down to willpower that you're still doing what you're doing, then you've got to change it up. You've got to have a plan in place of what you're gonna do when that willpower runs out. 100% of studies that have been done on willpower and what creates long-lasting change have shown that willpower is nothing to do with long-lasting permanent change. Long-lasting permanent change is what you're after. That's what's going to create a permanent irreversible change in the body. It's what's going to make your skin different forever. You're going to become a new person altogether. And if you're still in this category of you're new to the lifestyle, you've made some amazing changes. I applaud you for coming here and taking matters into your own hands. But the things that you've got to be on top of, you've got to be on top of your numbers. You've got to know what's going on in your body calorically. Know how many calories you're eating. Know what your macros are, roughly. Know exactly what's going on with your blood, if possible. Know what's going on at a deep level in your body have a good idea of how your digestion is, look at the Bristol stool chart, have a much deeper understanding of what's going on with your body as quickly as possible. So once again, I applaud you for coming to this lifestyle. Thank you so much for taking responsibility and becoming the master of your own health. But make sure you do just that, you do become a master. You're not just caught up in the initial novelty and you're running on willpower right now. So consistency is always better than purity. Make changes that are longer than 21 days of this or 28 days of that, which anyone can do. The landscape is littered with people that have done 28-day vegan challenges, but arguably the body adjusts better to sustained, gradual changes that we make over a period of time, and we adjust to that new stage of development at each step. So... Maybe we cut out milk first and we find replacements for that and we find a level of homeostasis at every change that we make to the body. This is what creates long-lasting change development. This is what is ultimately going to create you an eczema-free body. So that's my video for today. I hope you found it useful. I hope you're not relying too much on willpower, but you're creating systemic change in your body.
Look, if you're in need of a coach or any further help, use one of the links below. At the very least, please subscribe to this channel because if you have eczema, if you're in a place where you need to get the body back on track, there's lots of very useful information in the back catalogue on this channel for you to go back and have a look at. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. The way the YouTube algorithm is working right now, that really helps out us YouTubers that are trying to spread a positive and helpful message.